Hi, I'm Joe. This is a review of the Ergo SE hearing aids. These devices are very similar to those of other Ergo uh, hearing aids and that they go completely in the ear canal. So therefore they are essentially invisible. Uh, you can see the little tail that sticks out in order to, uh, to pull them out of your ear. I'll turn my head. You can see um, it, it, probably nothing. I am wearing hearing aids right now. I'm not wearing the SEs. I did wear them for seven days and used them as my hearing aids. So therefore, the only hearing aid I used during that time were the SEs. Um, and so I'm going to give you my impression of that. I've been using uh, Ergo hearing aids since August of 2017. So I'm quite familiar with them. They've gone through a number of changes um, in uh, sound quality. The uh, quality of the SEs is uh, right up there. Um, they don't have quite as many features as the more expensive uh, Ergos. So those are some of the things to, to take into consideration uh, when, when considering these. But sound quality certainly is not. Uh, they have a fidelity and clarity that, that uh, you'll be amazed by. Um, they have a setup that uh, you go through, it's kind of like taking a hearing test. You hear those uh, squeals and uh, warbly sounds that, that you've probably heard taking a hearing test. And it goes through and uh, plays them louder or softer. And as you go through that for the left and then the right, it uh, adapts to your uh, hearing loss. And uh, if you try them before doing that, the quality of the sound is nowhere near what you're going to get after doing the hearing test. The hearing test uh, really does a, a remarkable job in changing how the hearing aids work uh, specifically for your hearing challenges. I'd like to show you the hearing aids. Uh, here they are in the case. Um, I took the top off. As you can see, the case is quite small. The devices themselves are also quite small. They um, are very much the same size as uh, the other uh, Ergo in the ear canal uh, hearing aids. Take one of them out of the case right now and hold it up for you. You can see, and I'll bring it next to me, they're very small and they fit right into your ear. And the tail that I'm talking about is that thing there. And so what people can see if they look in, they have to look at your ear and they might be able to see that this little, this little thing sticking off there, that's the only thing that is a telltale sign that you're wearing the hearing aids. Um, so uh they don't they're not invisible you can't call them invisible because clearly you can see them but nobody will see them they don't know you're wearing hearing aids like i said i've been wearing them uh since 2017 and until i actually tell people i'm wearing hearing aids they don't know i'm wearing hearing aids to get into a few of the details about the se's uh beyond the um sound match which is like the hearing test there are a couple different settings that you can add to it once you've done the sound match. The first one is normal. That's just what it starts out with. Then you can add TV, restaurant, meeting, music, and phone. You can have uh, three, three of those five uh, that work along with it, uh, along with the, uh, with the normal. The uh, system allows you to move between uh, between those from the app, you simply just touch the uh, touch the setting and it sends a signal to the hearing aids uh, through uh, ultrasonic sound that changes it. You can also uh, tap your by your ear right here. If you just tap, you go tap tap, and it will cycle through those. So let's say you have normal TV, restaurant, meeting, normal. Uh, that's what will happen. It will go uh, cycle through those. You also have a volume setting. It defaults to uh, what your hearing needs as far as volume is concerned, but sometimes you need a little less or a little bit more. So there's a couple of uh, reductions you can make going down, and a couple uh, that you can make going up as far as volume is, uh, is concerned to, to adjust it to the particular uh, environment. If you find that you always change the volume, you can edit that volume in the app uh, while you're wearing hearing aids, you can bump that up and bump it down. And that allows you to, um, to then, once, you, once you've established the volume that you want as your standard, uh, they'll start up that way once they go into that, that particular setting. 
The SE hearing aids are the uh, most affordable hearing aids that uh, Ergo has offered. Uh, they are $1,300 less expensive than, uh, than the sevens, going at $1,650 as a retail price, uh, which is actually uh, a pretty good entry level price for, uh, for this quality of, uh, of hearing aid. I think that if you're looking to get, to get started, you're not quite sure um, about, about doing this, and you're getting some sticker shock as you're looking around at, at various different aids, I think that you'll be pleased with uh, the price uh, to performance uh, ratio of these uh, of these hearing aids. Uh, like I said, they don't quite have all of the features that you get in um, in the more expensive ones. But then again, they have all the sound quality. When I was wearing them, uh, I really didn't notice a lot of difference uh, between the sound of the um, of the hearing aids. They do have this one feature that is uh, is quite nice. Um, it it is a, a noise noise reduction feature. So what happens is, is if there's a, like a, a droning fan or, um, or or something like that that's going on, that's a constant sound. What these will do is it'll actually drop drop that sound down in in, in volume, so other things are more uh, more audible. Um, you can have that feature turned off by the person you work with at your go. They can turn it off um, and then you won't deal with that anymore if you, if you just don't like it. Um, I didn't like it in my sevens. I decided I actually did like it after I used it on this one because I couldn't turn it off. It's one of those features that's either on or off. Um, the other thing that the uh, Ergo uh, person can do for you is they can uh, take your hearing test. If you've had a recent hearing test, they can take your hearing test and turn it into a sound match program for you that you can load into the into the system. That saves you the time and effort and possible errors. And you know, I don't know. It's a uh, you know, you, you hit the wrong buttons or don't don't quite do it or don't feel like doing it. it uh, if you have a sound test, then bingo, there you are. It's all all set up for you. Uh, overall, I uh, I very highly recommend these uh, these hearing aids. Uh, they um, will certainly uh, improve your hearing, and I think that most people will be very satisfied with the results that they get once they do the sound match.